Hi guys, my name's Laura and I'm the Specky Seamstress. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to talk to you about a lovely little shop that I went to visit in Beacon, New York, uh, called Beaton Fred. So this is another episode in the series of Come Fabric Shopping With Me, which I haven't done for a while, um, but would be interested to know if you guys are interested in seeing more episodes. So Beacon is a town uh, north of New York City in New York State. It's about 10 minutes drive from where I'm staying with my friend here and it's got lots of lovely like little independent shops and, and actually you can walk around it. It has like a high street and pavement and you can walk which I wasn't really expecting to do much of in uh, in New York outside of New York City so that was kind of fun. Um, and it's got some yarn shops so Claire was really interested in going in because despite it being quite close to her she's never really been in and explored it and um some nice food shops and stuff but uh the main draw for me was the fabric shop which is called beetle and fred it also sells yarn as well um and runs workshops and classes and it's just a really lovely little shop when me and claire went in we fell right back into our like teenage friendship and were just babbling on about everything really anything and everything now me and Claire haven't actually seen each other for like two years and um the last few times we've seen each other has been for each other's weddings so there's been lots going on so it's actually just really nice to be chatting and laughing and just kind of having a good time so uh the the lady in the store was laughing along with us because she thought we had a really good friendship she said you could tell that we've known each other for a really long time um which was really lovely but I'm sure you guys are more interested in the fabrics that I bought <laughs> so let me show you what I picked up now I was reasonably restrained it fits in a reasonably small paper bag but I think I bought well I did I bought more than I bought in the entire <laughs> garment district of New York <laughs> so let me show you what I bought now the shop had quite a lot of really lovely sort of quilting cottons and some of the designers that we get in the UK but we don't necessarily get all of the range or because they're imported they're quite expensive um, some of the quirky ones like I was cooing over all of the Tula Pink um, oh, yeah and I like Alison Glass so lots of kind of quirky fabrics so I spent quite a long time in the shop and I had to narrow down what I wanted because I could have spent quite a lot of money in there I mean I did spend quite a lot of money in there but I could have spent a lot more than I did um, now what was really great about the shop is that you could buy things in any increment you wanted. Now obviously when you go to a fabric shop that is quite often the case. Um, but because I've been buying more and more of my fabrics online recently, um, you can mostly only buy them in half metre increments. And so it's actually it was actually quite nice to kind of go and even if a fabric was maybe slightly more expensive than I would usually pay, if I only wanted to buy a little bit for something um, that I actually could. So that was quite nice. So I picked up three, four novelty type fabrics and then two just really lovely quality fabrics that I will show you. Um, not that the quirky ones are not lovely quality, but you'll know what I mean when I, <laughs> when I uh, show you. I'm really rolling with this rambly stuff at the minute and I hope you guys continue to like it. <laughs> so the first thing I bought was this which is just a cotton, but it's a really lovely soft cotton. Um, and it's nowhere near as see-through as you might imagine for a for just a white or cream cotton. And it has all of these hands over it that have got cross fingers and they're, um, they've got their nails painted. And it really reminded me of the um, Tilly and the Buttons fabric line that's just been um, released, which has the um, hands like crossed over like hearts. Um, and this kind of reminded me of that a little bit. Now it's a Lucky Charms by Figo Fabrics. Fabric? Fabric? Um, how many times can I say fabric? And I just bought half a yard um, because my intention for this is to colour block a kabuki tee with this being the sleeves um, with like a plain grey or something. I did actually consider um, colour blocking it with this, which is one of the fabrics I picked up. Um, which is just a gorgeous it was called a gauze but I think it's a little bit thicker than a gauze really and it's just got these lovely little square light light gray squares on it because I do think these would go quite well together but having kind of thought about it um 
I've got that grey uh, duvet cover set that I got from the jumble sale in uh, the village near to me that is quite a similar weight to this. So I think I'm thinking I might colour block it with that. Um, and I just, yeah, I thought it was quite cute, but I didn't want a whole garment made of it. And I've said a few times recently, you know, I'm thinking about colour blocking more now. Um, so I think that this will be a fun one to just have have as a colour block. And this was one of the more sensible fabrics. Uh, less quirky. Let's not say sensible. Let's say less quirky. Um, and it wasn't quite wrapped on the bolt very well. So I I asked for two yards, but I've got a little bit more than two yards because she wanted to make sure that I had enough um, for what I wanted. Now, I'm thinking about making myself a pair of Winslow Colottes with these because it will just be really, really practical. I think it will drape really nicely because it's quite... It's quite sort of soft and, and drapey, but uh, will just be really classy. And I think you could play around, because I think I'll have some left from that, um, I could play around with using both sides of the fabric as well, I think, for something else. So, yeah, this was just gorgeous. As soon as I sort of touched it, <laughs> I was like, well, I've got to buy some of this. In the same vein, I picked up this. Now, this is an absolutely gorgeous... Now, I can't remember what it was described as. This was called Mariner Cloth, and I picked up the teal one. Now, it's textured. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this, but these stripes are, like, woven in and um, gives it a really lovely texture and quite, like, an organic feel to it. They ha Now, while I was wandering around the store, I saw this. Now, as you can see, I've not bought very much of this. Now, this fabric, I have seen for sale in the UK. It is an Andover Alison Glass fabric, and it's absolutely stunning. It's got all of the things I like on it. So there are paintbrushes, there are eyes, there are turtles. Now, I probably haven't talked too much about turtles on this channel, but turtles are like a little bit of a thing uh, for me and my husband. And I've been looking for some cool turtle fabric. So um, this was quite fun. A lot of the ones I've seen have been like really novelty, really quite juvenile. So um, yeah, I quite enjoyed picking up this. It's also got uh, planes. So one of my big passions is travel, which I've spoken about a little bit on this channel. Um, it's got cameras on it and I quite like my photography and I've got um an slr and it was just and then it's got sewing things on it as well so it's got some scissors and it's got bobbins and safety pins and i just really really liked it so i picked up just a third of a yard of this because i think i'm gonna make this just as a cuff um on a sleeve because it's such a bold print um and such like it's almost it's so busy I think I was gonna say it's almost ditzy which I think is the wrong word it's like it's just so busy and um, I don't think I want it over a whole garment but it will be cute as a as a cuff um yeah I just I really like it I think it's uh it's quite cool so I picked up that that was $11.50 a yard um and I, yeah I picked up a third of a yard I was excited about looking for some Tula pink fabric because I do love all of the Tula Pink designs, but they're so expensive in the UK and they're so bold that I've just not convinced myself that I need one yet because quite often they're quite big print as well. So it might be quite hard to colour block and I might convince myself um, once I start playing around with some colour block patterns that I want to do that and I might buy some more. But uh, I was kind of on the hunt for if I saw a different design that I hadn't really seen or something over here. And I saw this. Now, this is from the Monkey Wrench range by Tula Pink, um, which is the one that had all the bananas in it. So the Selvage has all the bananas on it, which are definitely going to get used as labels, I think. Um, and it's just, it, it's, it's quirky, but I really like the black and white spots. And then in between them all, you've got these, I think they're supposed to be beetles, but when I first saw them, I kind of thought they were a bit like ladybirds and uh, we know I like ladybirds because that's my girl guiding name for the little rainbow units that I run. So I was quite happy with this. I've bought a yard and a quarter of this. I knew I bought a yard and a quarter of one of them. Um, and I think I'm just going to make a top. I might colour block it with just some plain black 
because I think it might bring out the um, design a little bit better but I just thought this was really cute this was $11.30 a yard now my last fabric I had been looking at the Instagram account for Beaten Fred in the morning before me and Claire went to visit because she told me about it and they were advertising their um, Ruby Star Society fabrics and in particular their rayons that they just got in now I haven't felt any Ruby Star rayons before they are so silky and I couldn't help but pick up this one how stunning is that it's a really grown-up quirky print like it really is you could imagine that being some kind of ex-designer print I think um it's it's stunningly soft it's as soft as some of the silks I bought um in the garment district it really is and this one is called good luck cat and it's a rayon from this year I've not seen these in the UK yet I bought three quarters of a yard of this and I think I'm gonna well I say I think my plan is to make a so altered style misty cami with this because I think it will just be a really lovely um garment now I am gonna have to accept that there's gonna be either cat boob or flower boob I think but um we'll see what I can do with the pattern placement <laughs> um and I need to make sure I don't have bust starts like in the cat's face so we'll have to play around but I think three quarters of a yard should be plenty for that um because it's quite a it's not a very fabric hungry pattern so but it is a very narrow fabric it's um it was only 115 centimeters which I thought for a rayon was quite quite narrow like normally they're kind of 130 140 so I don't know hopefully hopefully I've got enough um, but I do have some plain rayons that I could uh, I could colour block with if I need to. Um, but I think I'll be alright. And I just loved it. The colour, all of the colours are just really beautiful. And I think it will look really classy. So I am very excited by that. And you know, who doesn't need a good luck cat camisole top in their life? I certainly do. <laughs> there were some other really beautiful designs in that rayon as well. But I had already spent a reasonable amount that fabric was $16.50 a yard and um, so it was almost as expensive as the designer <laughs> silks that I bought in the garment district but it is really lovely quality and I'm looking forward to making it up and wearing it. So I will have been popping in some pictures of the, the fabric shop um, while I was talking. There was a really cute sign at the end that said um, no regrets with a picture of a seam ripper which I really loved and I realise there's going to be quite a lot of New York vlogs and I'm going to try and pop them out together like reasonably uh, condensed so not just once a week um, because I know that some of you want me to get back to sitting with my glasses behind me but um, I am going shopping later with Claire and I'm hoping to head to Joanne's and Michael's and Hobby Lobby um, and maybe a thrift store so I think that needs to be a vlog in itself. This felt a little bit different um, so I hope that you guys have enjoyed it and enjoy seeing all the fabrics i'm really looking forward to making some of these up and my bag is now getting reasonably full so who knows what i will end up buying in joanne's <laughs> we shall see thank you so much for watching guys please let me know down below in the comments box which one your favorite fabric is and what you think i should make with them and until next time <laughs>